Hey guys, it's Sandy. Welcome back to Cute Polish. In today's nail art tutorial, Julie will be sharing 10 Valentine's Day nail art designs that are perfect to wear on Valentine's Day. Guys, all of these nail art designs are fun and easy to create. You could choose to wear one as an accent nail, mix or match a few, or you could do all 10. Let us know down in the comments which of these 10 designs are your favorites. And now let's get started. Hey, it's Julie. Now let's jump right into the video. Before we get started on any of these nail designs, it's always best to prep your nails with a layer of base coat. This is gonna help your manicure last longer as well as protect your natural nails. For this first look, I'll be using a white nail polish and applying two coats of that until it's opaque. Next, using a hot pink polish, I made sort of a weird blobby circle shape on my nail. This is going to be the base of the rose, so you don't want the edges to be perfect. In fact, I think it looks better if the edges are a little more scalloped. Once that completely dries, take a red polish and on a toothpick, create a spiral of lines around the inside of the rose. This is gonna make it look like it has petals and more dimensional. Next, I flipped my toothpick over and I'm using a green polish and just adding a couple of leaves. I decided that my nail actually looked pretty bare with just one rose, so I did end up doing another one in the opposite corner. This is one of my favorite ways to create roses because it looks a lot more intricate than it actually is. And if you wanted to go a step further, you could actually also use a white polish and go around some of the outsides of the petals to make it look even more real. For the next design, I'll be using a sheer pinky polish and applying two coats of that. You can pretty much use any colored polish you'd want for this design. I just think it looks really good with a nice neutral nail. Next, grab a metallic polish. Because we're doing a ring design, you can use any color of metallic you'd like. And then with a striping brush, I just painted a line horizontally across my nail. I find the easiest way to do this is to roll my finger and pull the brush instead of just pulling the brush. Then apply a top coat. I'm using a shiny top coat, but I think this would also look really pretty matte. And then while the top coat is still wet, apply a rhinestone to the metallic band going across your nail. Now you can add as many rhinestones as you want to this and bling out your ring any way you'd like. And if you want your rhinestone to last even longer, I'd suggest using some nail glue. Moving along, next we'll be doing a simple drag marble heart design. And for this, I'm starting with a really pretty purpley polish. I applied one coat, let that dry, and then applied the second coat and quickly moved on to the next step. Next, grab another color. I'm using yellow because it's sort of a contrasting color. And I quickly added three dots to the middle of my nail. Then with a long liner brush, I pulled the wet purple polish through the yellow polish. Now it might not be perfect depending on if you moved fast enough, but you can always go back in and touch up the shape of the heart heart if you need to like I'm doing here. Finish with top coat. I think pastel colors look really good matte and that's it. This next design is a really fun twist on a regular French manicure. I'm starting with my base coated nails, nothing else on them. Then with a red polish, I painted just the corner of the free edge of my nail. I find it easiest to use these side of the brush bristles because they're straighter, but if you need to, you can always use a nail art brush. Let that fully dry, then do the same thing in the opposite corner. I think it looks really good when you mix different textures of polish. So here I'm using a rose gold sort of metallic shade. Finish with top coat to add a beautiful shine. This next design is another sort of minimal look that you can really switch up and do any color you'd like. I'm using a periwinkle purple shade and I'm painting the top half of a heart on the free edge of my nail. Now this doesn't look as good on my square nails as it would on oval or stiletto nails, but you get the idea. Do as many coats as you need to to get the heart fully opaque, and then I used a white nail art striping polish to outline the heart. Don't worry if you don't do this perfect, you can always go back in with your colored polish to sharpen the line. Mm -hmm. 
if you have longer nails than I do, I think it would also be really cute to add some text to these, kind of like the conversation candy art, but you can totally leave it like this and just do a bunch of different colors and I think it looks really cute. Staying in the pastel family, next I'll be using a baby pink polish and applying two coats of that to my nail. Once that dries, I'll be using a small nail art brush and a few other pastel shades in making dashes on my nails. I know this isn't super Valentine's y, but I think the colors are really cute and they definitely remind me of Valentine's Day. And this is another design that I think looks super cute with a matte top coat, but you can totally do shiny if you want. Moving along, for the next design, I'll be starting with a white base and letting it dry. Next, I'm using that super fine detail brush again and a hot pink polish and very carefully writing love in cursive. You have to go slow with this, take your time. I think it's best if you actually start off with not very opaque lines and then go back to define the shape. And if you need to, you can always go back in with white polish to sharpen up the lines even more. This next design is my personal favorite and for it, I'll be starting with a red polish as my base. Once that dried, I took a yellow polish on a toothpick and made small little dashes for seeds of a strawberry. Then with a leafy green polish, I added some leaves to the top of the strawberry. Now for my favorite part, we're gonna be adding some chocolate to this strawberry for chocolate dipped strawberries. To do this, I just used the wand of a brown polish and made a drippy shape. You don't have to do it perfectly because chocolate dipped strawberries aren't perfect. One thing I do wish I did differently would have been to have applied the matte top coat before I applied the chocolate so I didn't have to backtrack and then put shiny back onto the shiny brown polish. So if you do this design, I recommend applying a matte top coat before you apply the chocolate. But it wasn't an issue, I just applied some shiny on top of the chocolate part once the matte dried. For the next design, I'll be doing a really easy heart cutout design. To do this, you basically just draw a heart with any color you'd like. I'm using a metallic shade here, but I do suggest making the heart bigger than you want it to be so that you can fill in the space as you progress. So once you've drawn on the outline for the heart, you just fill in the rest of your nail with the polish and you have a design that looks a lot more complicated than it was. And for the last design, I'll be bringing back that periwinkle polish and applying two coats of that and letting it dry. Next, using a large dotting tool and white polish, I created a band of dots down the side of my nail and then I filled in that space to the right of them with a white striper. This just makes a super easy lay sort of ruffle design. Finish with top coat to seal in your design and that's it. This is another one of those designs that would look really pretty in any color and if you wanted to take it a step further, you could actually create small dots along the bigger scallops for a more detailed lace look. There you have 10 really easy Valentine's Day nail designs. If you'd like to watch more Cute Polish videos, you can click on these boxes here and click on the circle to subscribe to Cute Polish for a new video every week. And if you'd like to check out my personal nail art channel, you can click on the circle here.